Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox video and today we're going to be doing another object competition video but before we get on to today's competition guys as always we need to go over the results of the previous competition and that was the mythology related apocalypse planet competition so looking at the results here oh my god Demunic he's on another level he absolutely destroyed the entire field. He got 18 votes. Second place, we had uh, Endy at 7 votes. So that is just a crazy, crazy increase. I think that was, uh, yeah, that was the Munich, and I think Endy's one was, yeah, this one. So these were first and second. And yeah, they blip. both of them were just miles ahead of everyone else. So yeah, congrats to uh, the Munich for his uh, fifth all-time win now. Um, so yeah, he's, he's getting, he's getting, he's really grinding out the wins at the moment. So can anyone stop him? Um, it's the question. But yeah, he took the win with this, uh, very very demonic looking world so yeah there we go congrats to him for uh, taking the win on that competition but with that all said and done guys thank you to everyone who participated in that one but yeah let's move on to today's competition okay everyone so for today's competition we have got a gas giant so it's been a uh, probably a good nine nine plus episodes of competition since we did a gas giant i mean it's been a while so yeah today we're going to be doing exoplanet gliese 504b so without further ado let's see what you guys have prepared for today's competition so where are we uh da -da -da -da. Aha. okay lots of purples that's why i went with a purple background right okay so first up we have got endy's world here let's see what they have prepared for us so here it is Looking very, very exotic. Very, very purple. Looking good. Did you give us any description? Um, I made the first 20 bands in game and then I duplicated it multiple times with modern to make it very detailed. Very, very nice. So it's a nice mega banded world as we can see. If we look on the appearance tab, we can see. Yeah, so a lot of bands. So looking good. Very, very nice indeed there for ND's Wadjet. So there is Gleezer 504B from him. Next up we have got... Chris's object. So let's see what Chris has got. It looks like it's tinted. There it is. Okay, it looks like it's also yeah tilted like Uranus. Slightly hot in temperature as well. Tinted the planet so it has a nice colour. Also, the North Pole is still a bit too blue for my likings. But I've adding bands until my fingers hurt. I'm gonna go with what it is now and try not to mess it up. So that is what he has sent us here. So if we get the full look of it, you can see the purple tint. Looking pretty monstrous. Um, if we look at the bands. Oh man, that's a lot of bands as well. Very, very dark in shade. So it's the purple tint that's actually making this object what it is. So that's what it looks like the other way up. So looking good. So very, very dark, mysterious purple there. Okay, next up we have got Pluto Neon's object. Let's see what he has prepared for us today. All the planets, very similar size so far. So 10.7, 10.5, okay. So here it is, so Pluto Neon's one. Perhaps not the most realistic. I believe it looks glamorous. So here it is. It's also got a lot of temperature to it as well. Just uh, adding to the effect. Uh, let's uh, see what it looks like with the temperature sort of lowered. So we can actually see all the colours. So there it is there. Looking very, very nice indeed. Yeah, I'd say it looks fairly... Um, fairly uh, real. Well, I don't know. He says perhaps not the most realistic. You know what? You could question that, I think. But yeah, there it is. Uh, looking at the bands... There's, your, there's our list of bands, but yeah, let's put it back to the way it was intended, which was that. So, there we go. Cool. Next up, we have got Saulo's object. Let's see what they have got for us here. Okay. So, another, again, a nice purple. I reckon this will be quite a hard one for people to vote on, surely, because, I mean, it's all lots of purples, so which purple looks the best? Um, okay. So, Saulo, did they give us any... Doesn't does this really need a description? Is all he put. So, yeah, there it is. Looking good. Next up, we have got. Which is this? Uh, wait, can I select it, please? Uh, this is Kerbal's one. Also tinted by the looks of it. Okay, here it is. So very very dark, sort of maroony red, almost. Looking pretty good as well. Two hundred degrees in temperature. Looking good. Okay. So did he give us any description at all? I didn't really have to shift every single band's colour from magenta to purple when I realised how it worked. Okay. So that's it there. So looking at the band colours, there you go. So he has got a tint on it though, so pretty cool. Alright, next up we have got 
this object here. So this is Minor Bats World. Uh, they didn't give us any description for this. So here it is here. So we've got some really exotic colours on here as well. Very, very nice bright candy colours. Almost there. Looking good. Got like a greener shade there as well. Okay. Looking good. Uh, next up we have got... This is some Troll EG. Okay, so here it is. So he's gone with a more sort of paled out bluish purple shade okay so he has put this is the real glees of 504b not magenta but blue the magenta color touted by the media would be a result of blue due to methane combined with the red and the heat of the young planet the planet is too cool to admit any kind of visible light which is why i think it would be blue i ah, got a bit of a sciencey reason behind it as well very very nice so there it is i mean yeah if you increase the temperature you probably would see a slight sort of pinky purple shade start to sort of appear maybe somewhere around there i don't know just a tad bit, but um, yeah, there we go. So there's his world. Okay, next up we have got J248's world. So let's place that in there. Okay. So we've got some pretty exotic colours on this one as well. Okay, so there we go. It's got some very, very sort of bright, we've got a bit of green at the very south. Look at the north and south. Yeah, look at that. Very exotic stuff. Okay. So looking good. So lots of nice purples here. And then uh, next up we have got Demunix World. So our current uh, winner and champion of this series. So there's Demunix World here. Whoa. Okay, so let's place that in there. Here it is. Okay, so he's gone with a high banded count as well. Okay. So Demunix, what's he given us here? Okay. Uh, Gleaser 504b is a young and massive gas giant with a mass of 8.36 times Jupiter. The planet is orbiting pretty far from its star, which would make it a cold place. However, since the planet is only around 160 million years old, its internal primordial heat does actually make it quite hot with an average surface temperature of around 250 degrees Celsius. Okay. The planet's main characteristic is its unusual pinkish appearance. It's part of glowing red, deeper, hotter clouds near the transition between the inner and outer atmosphere, making the blue of its outer atmosphere. Now, the atmosphere also features very bright white clouds composed of water vapor at the equator. Okay, most of the surface is pink and white, however at the poles more bluish and purplish colorations are present because of the lower temperatures. Very, very nice. Okay, so if we look on the uh, north and south, you can see that's a little darker. It's only 55 degrees, so although it looks like this temperature switched on, it's just because of the way he's done the bands, which is quite a cool illusion. So there it is. And he's also tinted it. I think he tinted it white, so it's kind of like increased the brightness of the bands as well. So yeah, there's all the bands there. Yeah, looking good. So there it is. He's made it a little bigger than everyone else's as well. Okay, everyone, just before we finish up this video as well, I probably have to edit this in somewhere. I actually made a mistake. I didn't include one of the objects. So apologies to Chensic for not including his object in the initial recording of this video. So without further ado, we're going to go ahead and check out what he sent us here. So if I go ahead and... Uh see what he prepared first yeah massive apologies i don't know how um how i missed it but yeah thank you to chris for pointing it out um yeah he just pinged me in discord after i filmed the video and put it out in the or put the screenshot out so chensich where is chensich's object let's just search his name that'd be easier so here it is let's go ahead and spawn it in place it there okay right so there is chensich as well he didn't give us any description either but here it is so as you can see, it's kind of similar to Minor Bats one, just with like more paled out bands. It's got like the blue colour at the top, the bluey green sort of look to it, and then the more purpley pinkish look in the middle. So yeah, there is Chensich's world there, compared with all the others as well. Looking good. So yeah, so I think this will be an interesting competition with how many people uh, voted for this. But yeah, um, back to me from the past. Um, yeah, apologies to Chensich for not including it in the original recording, but yeah, all of the objects will be in the voting, so don't worry about that. I'll make sure that's all, uh, all uh, finalised when I get round to doing it later. But yeah, massive, um, massive thank you to everyone again who participated in this competition, and back to the me from the past. So there we go. But that is the lineup for Gleaser 504B. So I reckon this could be a lot more tight. I mean, we've got a lot of cool looking objects in here. So let's get them all lined up make live there we go all right cool so going from uh one side to another so we had j248's object here then we had troll eg's then we had kerbal's one so he's gone with that darker red one then we had saulo's then we had pluto neon's one so he's gone with the higher temperature 
Then we had ND's one here with the nice mega bands on it as well. Then we had Chris's one, so he also went for bluer, darker purple theme as well there. Then we had Minor Bat. And lastly, a Demunic, which we uh, just checked out there. So there we go. That does it for Gleaser 504B, guys. So yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this competition. If you did, good luck to everyone who um, voted as well. Let's even go for 40 likes on today's video, guys. And yeah, if you'd like to participate in the voting, make sure to join my Discord server. Link in the description. And yeah, good luck to everyone who are participated in this competition. We've got a lot of cool looking exotic purples here. So yeah, really, really hope you um, enjoyed all of that. But yeah, that all said and done, guys. Make sure you have a great day. Stay safe out there and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.